Hello and welcome to our Performance Management Tools tutorial. How can you tap into an organization's talent potential and improve your team's performance? Despite sound business strategies, many organizations struggle to maintain productivity and engagement due to the lack of effective performance management systems. This bottleneck can be addressed by performance management tools such as 360-degree reviews, team performance matrix, MBO appraisals, 30-60-90 day reviews, and performance scorecards. These tools provide quantifiable insights into individual and team performance, promoting accountability and continuous improvement. Now let's not forget, everything you see in this template is fully customizable and you can download this template that I'm going to show you now and 500 other business frameworks and spreadsheets that you might find useful on our website. The first tool we'll discuss is establishing an overall review cadence. This involves setting a clear timeline and roadmap for regular performance reviews. Both employees and managers should understand when these meetings will occur and what the expected outcomes and action plans are. For instance, an action plan might start with a goal-setting meeting, followed by a midpoint check-in, and end with a planned conclusion. This structured approach ensures continuous feedback and progress tracking. Next, we have tools for individual employee reviews. Typically, a direct manager evaluates an employee's performance in various areas. This slide shows an evaluation form where performance can be rated as below par, on par, or above par, with space for additional comments. However, in addition to manager reviews, a 360-degree review provides a more comprehensive evaluation. This involves self-assessment, peer reviews, and manager reviews, offering a well-rounded perspective on performance. A 360-degree performance review fosters a culture of transparency and better collaboration between team members. It encourages open communication and reduces biases, helping identify strengths and weaknesses that may not be visible through traditional top-down appraisals. Here is an example of a peer review form. Peers can rate performance on a scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree. These scores are then compiled to give a thorough overview of the employee's performance. After compiling the 360-degree review results, you can compare how an employee sees themselves versus how others see them. This chart highlights areas needing improvement and potential blind spots in these different criteria. And don't forget, you can download this performance management template as well as 500 other business frameworks and spreadsheets on our website. Now let's move on to performance management for entire teams. This slide shows you how you can plot team performance on a chart with performance on the y-axis and trend on the x-axis. This helps in visualizing overall team performance and its trajectory. For example, on the y-axis we have performance from bad to great, and then on the x-axis we have a trend. So the trend is showing whether the performance is going down, is it steady, or is it actually improving? and you can plot different team members based on these two criteria. Another useful tool is the team performance matrix. It plots employees based on their potential and performance, helping to identify high performers and those who might benefit from reassignment to better utilize their talents. So for example, if someone has really high potential but low performance, that probably means that their talent isn't really being used. So perhaps they should be assigned to different projects. The team performance matrix allows managers to tailor their development strategies and delegate tasks accordingly. This structured approach enhances individual development and optimizes team dynamics, leading to better resource and talent allocation. Framework-based evaluations are crucial. The 30-60-90-day review is particularly effective for onboarding new team members. It outlines what they are expected to accomplish within their first 30 days, and then within their first 60 days, and then within the 90 days, with both qualitative goals and quantitative number-based goals. So on these slides, you can outline their main goals for each of these time periods, and also what you are going to use to measure these goals. Another framework is the Management by Objectives, the MBO. 
This involves setting specific, measurable, attainable, result-oriented, and time-bound objectives. Progress is then rated to ensure clarity and accountability. Last but not least, I'm going to show you some slides that can be used as individual or team performance scorecards. These offer a detailed, quantitative assessment based on the 360-degree reviews. These slides show overall ratings based on the 360 review and breakdowns by specific areas, each with its own 360 review. So this is a very quantitative, number-based scorecard. And on a team level, a scorecard can look something like this. So for example, this team has four people and we can highlight their key performance indicators, the KPIs and main goals. This is super useful in competitive environments such as sales teams, providing a clear leaderboard and performance comparison. Another team visualization can be like this. It shows the KPIs and the actual and the target. So you can see what the actual results are and compare them to what the initial target is to see how far off you are. And this is a weighted scored card, which means that different areas might have different emphasis. So perhaps this area is more important than that area, which means that the weight would be higher. And lastly, organizational level scorecards track the overall performance management process. So earlier we talked about individual performance and team performance, and this slide, this scorecard, is more about tracking the performance evaluation. They ensure managers are completing reviews on time and providing necessary feedback, maintaining the integrity of the performance management system. We hope these tools help you in efficiently managing performance within your teams. For more detailed information, you can always refer to the accompanying article, but also if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Goodbye and happy managing!